Welcome to my first coin roll hunt of 2023. We got a box of circulated pennies. Let's see what we can find. Hey collectors, thanks for watching. I'm the collector of coins and that's right. I have a box of pennies to start off the new year. And we're doing a penny coin hunt looking for key dates, semi key dates and varieties. We got it right here. We're gonna crack this open in a minute. And as I start struggling to get this open, I'm hoping that you can subscribe to my channel. Uh, about 90% of my viewers are not yet subscribers. So if you're watching this, uh, this video, one, I appreciate that. And two, take a look to see if you're subscribed. And if not, feel free to subscribe. That way you're not missing any content that I post. And I do post content all the time. All right, well, we got some disgusting looking pennies up top, but we clearly have circulated rolls. We even have a Canadian scent on the surface. This looks like it's got a ring of death. This could be an interesting haunt. Let's see, I'll pull you in as soon as we find something interesting. We're gonna be looking for varieties and wheat pennies. And we're gonna start with this roll. And we got the first roll open and we see a wheat scent right away. What a good way to start off the new year. Not bad shape on the reverse, 1956D. And with the 1956 from Denver, we could look at the D over shadow D variety. I'll bring you in if it is that variety. Collectors, we're going through roll seven and we have our second find. And this one is from the 20s. 1925 from Philadelphia. Pretty impressive. Same role, we got a 1975 San Francisco. A proof coin in circulation, pretty cool. We have our third wheat scent from the hunt. This comes out of roll 15 and it's a 1958 from Denver. Okay, roll 17, couple more finds. Another wheat penny, this one is from 1951 and it's from San Francisco. We also got a second Canadian scent. This one's from 1989. Roll 20 gives us a pretty corroded 1940 from Philadelphia. Corroded, but still a wheat scent. Well, here we are in the back of roll 33, and yes, another wheat scent. Not a lot this hunt, a few, and this one is from 1944. Hey, we got another wheat penny. This one comes out of roll 34, and it's from 1958. All right, we just got open roll 35 and fanned out. We got another wheat penny peeking out over here. Nineteen fifty two from Denver. All right, we got another wheat set. This is out of roll 40. And it's a nineteen fifty from San Francisco. All right, very cool. Hey, we're still in roll 40, and we got another 1950. This one, even though it's dinged up, has some original luster left. Pretty nice looking, despite the uh, dings. And I pulled out this really red 1971, small thumbprint on the side over here. That's still also a really nice looking, really good condition coin from the 70s. All right, we got two more finds. Two more wheat scents. These come out of row 43, a 1956 and a 1957, and both are from Philadelphia. All right, row 45 is that Canadian Ender. We'll get this one cracked open, and we'll see what's inside. And it's a uh, pretty nice-looking 1977 from Canada. We'll take a look at what's in the rest of this roll in one second. And towards the back of row 45, we have another wheat scent. Really dark here. Looks like a 1952 out of Denver. And just like that, 50 rolls hunted and a number of finds. Let's get these organized and I'll bring you in for the recap. And here we go. All right. So we got six from the 50s. Uh, sorry, seven from the 50s. Not including these three, which are from San Francisco. And I always like finding the San Francisco minted scents. We got a 1925, that's the oldest of the hunt. We got two from the 40s. Three Canadian cents, which we'll check my album for. I'm pretty sure I have these, but if not, I'll pull you in at the end. 
And then we have um, a proof coin in circulation, 1975 from San Francisco. All right. Well, thanks for watching, collectors. And as always, happy collecting and happy new year.